Hi, uh, Jennifer Seuss, uh, Precinct 3, also a member of the Election Modernization Committee, on whose behalf I'm presenting this article. Uh, article 12, the Consolidation of Town Meeting Member Elections, uh, is a home rule petition. It was reported out favorably by the Select Board. So um, under our current situation, when there's a midterm vacancy, so if someone can't fulfill the entire three years, that vacancy is put onto next year's ballot. So next year, there would be the usual four slots for a three-year term, and then an additional slot for a one or two-year term. Uh, that can be fairly confusing to new uh, potential candidates. Uh, it also introduces opportunities for gamesmanship. Under current practice, you can lose a contest for a three-year term with more votes than someone for, who wins for a one or two-year term or, or vice versa which is undemocratic and doesn't reflect the will of the voters. So let's look at an example. Under this example, there are five people running for a three-year term, Raj, Kim, Keisha, Bob, and Curtis, and one person running for a three-year term, Tracy. And here's the vote count and here's how it comes out. Raj, Kim, Keisha, and Bob, who are the highest vote getters for the three-year contest get onto town meeting and Tracy, who's uncontested, gets on for the one year slot, even though she has 30 fewer votes than Curtis. Maybe she's especially controversial or maybe there's some other reason. So under this proposal, all open seats are elected to a single contest. So there'd be five slots and the top four vote getters are elected to a three-year term, next to any available two-year ter two terms and so forth. So let's go back to our example. Um, here's the final vote tally, and here's the result. So Raj, Kim, Keisha, and Bob, who are the top four vote getters, get a three-year term, and Curtis, who is the fifth highest vote getter, gets a one-year term, and Tracy um, does not get into town meeting. So just some additional thoughts. Um, we already do this process when we redistrict, if we redraw the district lines every 10 years. Uh, everyone runs for town meeting again, and the top four vote getters get on for three-year terms, the next four for the two-year terms, and so forth. Um, also that it's, this is not an unusual way to do things. There are other town meeting member elections that work this way, including our neighboring Lexington. Uh, we think it's um, more democratic, it better reflects the will of the voters, it's less confusing, and it reduces opportunities for gamesmanship. Uh, so that is it. Thank you.